YouTube, Derek Dimes, Ghost Picks, ATS, your nation's number one trending sports handicappers, guys. Derek Dimes, Dime Time here. Hover around the logo, punch that, go up top, turn notifications on. Don't want to miss out on the free content. We give you guys every single day, 365. When there's a draw, very transparent. Follow my four brothers down below on the Ghost Picks Nation, guys. Make sure you take advantage of free content. We're going to provide for you guys every single day. Yesterday was not a good day. Back-to-back -back losing days, guys, but that means today is going to be epic. Super excited. College football Saturday. A lot of great matchups. A lot of great plays. Four college football plays from me. One NBA. Three boxing. You can get them individually or you can get them all. Everything that I have today and tomorrow, 50 bucks. Hop on board. Let's get it going. I'm juiced up and rowdy, guys. Good morning. Forever repping my squad. Let's get into it, guys. Yesterday on the card was a complete disaster. We're going to talk about it very briefly. I don't want to keep the negative juju. Let's talk about today. We are on UConn Huskies plus a 27. Sounds crazy, I know. Laying 27 points on the road. Navy did it. They got it done. Too many turnovers by the Huskies there, especially in the red zone. Had a nice chance to score there at the end of the half. Didn't get it done. Threw an interception and had a chance to close that gap and make it a one-score game. Didn't do it. Rockets. James Harden was horrible yesterday. Horrible. Could not buy a bucket whatsoever. Couldn't get the job done. Brooklyn Nets win the game. Pacers was a push against the Cleveland Cavaliers at seven. Tied up there. Nothing. No one. No loss. Whatever. Mavericks there winning the game in regulation. Missed a free throw at the end of the game. Lakers come down, hit the three, goes to overtime. And I do not like going against LeBron in overtime as he completely took over that game in overtime. So, Horrible day. We talked about it weeks. It, it, it happened. Let's get over it. Let's move on. I'm ready to have a monster day today, and I hope you are too, because I'm super excited about it, guys. Jump on board, and let's get it going. Whew. Let's do it. Sorry, I'm a little pumped up today. I don't even drink coffee. Can you believe it? Let's get you guys on a free play winner here. Let's get linked up. By the way, double top tiers today. Hop on board. Hop on board. Won't be disappointed. Double top tiers. Not one, two. Two top tiers. Hop on board that card, guys. Let's get linked up. Let's get it done. Florida Gators going up against the Georgia Bulldogs here. The game is playing down in Jacksonville. Basically a home game for the Florida Gators. So, I'm going to Florida Gators here. Plus the six and a half points. Why? I am not a believer in this Georgia team. I talked about it all year. I talked about it with some of my colleagues. I talked about it with some of my friends. I'm not a Kirby Smart fan. I'm not a Jake Fromm fan. I don't think they have the skill guys on the outside. Not a knock on Georgia. I just don't think they have it this year. Now, next year, maybe, possibly, but I don't think this is their year. They really think that they're going to make the run in the college playoff, and this is their opportunity. But this is also Florida's opportunity, who's six, six and a half point underdogs. Florida's only loss this year has come to LSU, and we've seen how dominant they can be, putting 40 points on people's head. Uh, Joe Burrow is leading the Heisman candidate um, race right now. Um, and I just, I just think that they're a much better team. But the guys on the outside, I don't see that they have enough big plays. You got to have big plays if you're a team that wants to make the playoff. You got to be able to score in spurts. This is, this is a, uh, an era where teams are very dynamic. You can score. You hear me talk about it all the time. Being dynamic, you can break big 50-yard runs. You can break big 50-yard passes. And we just have not seen that from Georgia with any type of consistency whatsoever. Not sure if it's from. Not sure if they don't have the guys on the outside. But either way, this Florida defense is for real. They've given up some points here lately, but they got some great guys on the back end who have 12 interceptions this year. And I think they're going to be able to, to take advantage of the, the, the mismatch on the outside there. As well as they get their two defensive ends back this this week. Um, so they'll be able to dial up a little bit of pressure here. I'm looking for Dan Mullen to use a little bit of his tactics here to get that offense rolling. Trask back there has been getting more and more confident as the year moves on. Um, and I really like this spot for the Florida Gators here. Florida Gators plus a six and a half against the Georgia Bulldogs. I'm sure that people may agree. They may not. They may disagree. Drop your comment below. Let me know how you feel about it, guys. But let's get linked up. Let's have a great day. I'm excited. I'm going to head to Sheets and get me a breakfast sandwich and some orange juice. Um, but you guys have a wonderful day. Cards are out. Plays are out. Have a wonderful day, guys. It's Derek. Da -da 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 Dimes. Ghost Picks ATS, guys. Three G's of Ghost is how we roll here. Good luck. God bless. And grind on. Oh, yeah. Go Bucks.